else tonight about uh, daycare death in Broward, where a toddler was left in a hot van and died. Tonight, we're getting new insight into the investigation based on warrants connected to the case. Local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez is live in Oakland Park with the update. Andrew. And these warrants, they detail what was found, what was taken that day in the middle of this investigation. You can see right here, so many people still upset. They want to know exactly what happened at the daycare. My daughter saw it on the news and it really touched her. And she's like, oh, my mom, that is so sad. I'm like, accidents happen all the time. Days after his death outside this daycare in Oakland Park, strangers still passing by, leaving balloons and offering prayers. This is happening all too frequently. As many continue mourning, the investigation is amping up. Two search warrants obtained by Local 10 News show this is being investigated as a manslaughter right now. Lists of evidence that was seized. The family of two-year-old Noah Sneed desperately want answers. I want justice for my grandson. Justice for my daughter. She didn't deserve this. The toddler dying in a daycare transport van outside the business in Oakland Park. Left in that car for hours. It's unclear how he went unnoticed and why the daycare employee never took him out. Search warrants revealing investigators were focusing their efforts on that white Ford E350 looking for any alarm systems pertaining to child transportation. They recovered the vehicle registration, photos, videos, documents, and a DNA swab from inside the side door. In the daycare, authorities took employee files and the van keys. Investigators looking for any surveillance video and DNA evidence as they move forward with this manslaughter investigation. And it's unclear right now at this hour if authorities were able to obtain surveillance video from inside of this daycare. But keep in mind, it is very likely that somebody could be facing charges here. As for the family of this two-year-old boy, they're still making final arrangements. That's the latest here in Oakland Park, though. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Andrew.